Previously on Neon Lights. After we run this scout test, I'm, I'm thinking of leaving Ark. What? Why? And I want you to come with me. I don't know what to say. Say yes. I made some modifications to my scout. If you hear me ask for more time, anything, seconds, minutes, I want you to disobey any order she gives you. Just a few more seconds. There's no time. Emmett, get him. Pulling now. Emmett, pull. I'm trying. I'm getting interference. I can't pull. Emmett, pull. I can't. Something is getting in the way. I'm going to get this droid down to my lab for analysis. Kira, may I take your holotech? Sure. People of Bastion, no need to adjust your monitors. I am broadcasting on every channel. Somewhere in this city, I have planted a bomb designed to cripple one of these institutions. It's lose-lose either way, and Cypher knows it. But if we separate at first and find the bomb, Emmett can pull us back and we can slingshot to the targeted location. Emmett, get ready to pull us back and sling us to Kira's location. Stand by for pull. Wait! What is it? What happened? The bomb. The bomb, it's banished. <laughs> Teleportation technology is so useful, wouldn't you agree? So here's how the game works. I'm going to let you decide which target to take out. Stand down and the bomb will stay put. Start fighting me and I'll assume you want the bomb moved, in which case I will send it through my androids to another location. Keep fighting and we'll just bounce it back and forth between all of you until it goes off. It's on me! I have to save it quickly before they send it out. Simple enough. Red wire, going in. Damn it! Cut the red wire! Whoever's got it, cut the red wire! Not here. Don't have it. It's not on me. Me either. Are you sure? D double check. If you don't have it, where did it? Oh my god. And check me. You learn quick. I had a good teacher. Well, this teacher needs to take a break. Losing this many times in a row will hurt my reputation. I wanted to talk to you about something, though. Sure, what's up? Well, you're the foremost expert on androids here, and I need your help on something I've been wanting to test out. A new model? Perfect. Count me in. What's its purpose? Well, I was hoping it would tell us that. I'm not sure I understand. Up until now, all these androids have been designed to complete a set task. Right. But we can't anticipate the problems we may be facing in five years. Hell, things could even change by next week. This city's spinning out of control and everyone's losing their damn minds. So you're saying you want something adaptable? Not just that. We need something that can think for itself. Something that could recognize a problem before it even exists. Artificial intelligence? Exactly. You're talking about implementing something to a level that hasn't been done before. And if it works, it could change the world. It'll take some time, but I think I can whip something up. Audrey? Audrey? Audrey, can you hear me? Pulling back Pulling now. Back now. Pulling back now. Catch. 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 Audrey. Audrey. Get, Audrey. Her, down Get her down to medical. medical. medical.
How's she doing? Serious, but stable. She's having cybernetic implants installed now. That's our best chance at saving her. I just don't know how I didn't see this coming. Don't blame yourself. None of us did. Cypher laid out a trap, and we walked right into it. If you don't mind me asking, why do you think he targeted the tower? He listed off all of these institutions he blames for the city's corruption. Why here? If you're trying to start an uprising, it won't work by damaging the one thing that does the most good. The thing the public actually relies on for sustainment. That wasn't his plan at all. What are you saying? I went back and tracked the signal of Cypher's message. It was a pre-recorded message that was only broadcasting here. He had tricked us into thinking the whole city was seeing his speech, but it was just us. I believe our tower was his target all along. But then he wouldn't have public support on his side. Not the best way to create anarchy. It seems the mystery is only getting more complex. Emmett, were you able to salvage any data from the holotech or the android before they were destroyed? Yes, ma'am. I had everything downloading to a secure server on a separate floor. The data is intact. Good. Make the final preparations on whatever it is you're cooking up. I want this weapon ready by tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Do you know why he would attack Ark, ma'am? I have my suspicions. Care to share? We'd be here all night. I don't mind. I don't think I'd be able to get much sleep tonight anyway. This all goes back to before the end of all wars. Ark was founded by my grandfather, Dr. Ezekiel Ark. Looking back on their financial records, they were just another tech corporation out to make a buck. Who knew they'd be humanity's savior? They weren't the first to pioneer hologram technology. In fact, a lot of people have said that Ezekiel stole those ideas from the other giants, building on the backs of greater men. From the beginning, Ark was built on a lie. So Ark has enemies. Do you think they're still out there wanting payback? It's possible, but not probable. After he died, the company went to my father. I was just a young girl back then, my brother a baby. That's when the fighting broke out. After the bees died out, crops started failing, and food was scarce. My father inherited an empire at the fall of civilization. As brilliant as he was, he didn't know how to manage the company. The one thing he got right was implementing Ezekiel's holotech. You're talking about the containment field? Yes. When the bombs started going off, everyone in a 10-mile radius was evacuated within what we now know as Bastion. He built holotech emitters around the city, which have shielded us from the outside radiation. Humanity's great shield also became the cage we now live in. Animals in cages, no matter how docile, can begin to get restless. Quite right. And that's where his sin began. Things were so chaotic that people were fighting to establish some system of order. My father wanted no part of it, so he stayed impartial. By standing by, he let the government, the police, the merchants, all of it, all of them gained too much control. I always think that if he had just spoken up, we would have had a voice in the way that matters are handled. He chose to stand by. What is right is often forgotten by what is convenient. Everyone knew we had the real power, though, so they've left us alone as long as we continue to provide services for the city. The holotech that maintains the containment field was self-sustaining, so they didn't need us for that. We had to stay relevant, so that's when we implemented the androids to start reconstruction. My father passed away before the androids were completed, so the company passed down to my brother and I. Oliver was the real genius of the family, but I had control because I was older. The Series 1 are ready for manufacturing. Good. How long before we can send out shipments? A week. Two, maybe. They haven't been tested for glitches fully. If there's an issue... If there's an issue, we will upload a firmware update and address it then. There's no point in making a problem out of nothing. Now, I want to talk to you about what's next. Next? Yes. We are going to have to keep a foot in the game to appease the political chamber. If we don't, they'll see no reason to keep us around. Well, the Series 1 was designed to replicate basic human tasks, so we need to make something that can do what a human can't. Start developing repair droids, something that can approach a situation quickly. So you want them to be fast? Fast and nimble. Something to get in and out of tight spaces, something that can reach rooftops for repairs, yet also cramped quarters. Yes, ma'am. And that's how we got the Series 2. 
These conversations played out like that every few months. The public would start to level out with our latest inventions, so we had to keep finding new ways to evolve if we were going to be left alone. My greed, my arrogance, my prayers for solitude led us to this place. There's no way you could have known that. You're right. I wasn't looking at the bigger picture. When the desire for self-preservation becomes masked in the name of progress, you become blinded to the repercussions, which is where the next great milestone in innovation happened. The Android market is stalling out. Well, Oliver and I have been working on something that could change that. Absolutely not. The people hate them enough as it is, claiming they're taking labor away that they could use. I'd like to see one of them fly up the side of a 10-story building and fix an antenna in two minutes. We need to make something that will give the people hope. What? It has to be exhausting living in this city. And how do you intend to do that? We free the people. Do what now? We have been stuck within these city walls for so long. It's time we stepped outside. But if we do that, then the radiation would destroy us. You're right, but... If we stay here, the city will destroy itself. The half-life of the radiation is too much. It will outlast all of us. You're suggesting we come up with something to counter that? That could actually work. Yeah, but without knowing what's out there, we'll be going in blind. And thus started the development of the PRISM project and the scout suits. Which brings us here. Almost. We had a trial run of each. Two disastrous results before we put the projects on hold. Our first prism, the proto-prism, was our first failure. Do you really think this is going to work? No telling until we try. Once the test is over, run diagnostics on the radiation in the room. Got it. Commencing prism ignition in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Test complete. Running diagnostics now. Are you getting anything? Scans are showing a decrease in radiation levels. Not enough to make an impact. Good. Run it again. This time, increase power output to 100%. Increasing output. Prism Ignition, stand by. If this works, we could change the world. Prism Ignition in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What happened? How long were we? An hour, it seems. I'm getting reports of a citywide blackout? Radiation levels? Scanners are showing. Gone. The radiation is completely scrubbed. That's, that's excellent news. And the prism? It's disintegrated, maybe. We need to get to work immediately on the next model. This one was a failure, but the results are promising. Oliver, next time make a stronger casing. Now for the scout project. It sounds like the test was a success, not a failure. To a degree, but without a way to contain the blast, we'd have to start from scratch any time we wanted to scrub the air. We'd have to find a way to harness the energy send-off. And that's where we come in. Not quite. The last test was the scout suit. Wow, you look incredible. Thanks. It's a little snug. Here, let me help you with your helmet. I got it. Make sure the seal is complete. You don't want any radiation leaking through. I said I got it. Okay, so once the slingshot goes off, you'll have 30 minutes. Cut me some slack, all right? I built the suit. I know how it works. Just making sure. This is just a test run, Oliver. We are just checking the limits of what the suit can handle. We'll sling you out. And then we'll pull you back and analyze the data. You don't have to go through with this. 
There are other people who can make this test. No, it's what Dad would have wanted. You don't know the first thing about- Ugh, not this again. Guys, we can have the family history drama later. We're on a time deadline here. You're right. Don't forget what I said. If I give the signal. Don't pull you back. I know. All right, everybody. Wish me luck. Commencing slingshot in five, four, three. And that was the last time I saw him. Ma'am, do you think somehow... He could have survived? Believe me, it's, it's crossed my mind. But no, it's impossible. Energy from the suits wear out in 30 minutes. Life support, too. No, he suffocated out there. And I let it happen. I'm sure Emmett still blames me for what happened. Emmett? Why Emmett? He and Oliver were a couple. Sorry, I thought you knew. Can you trust him? Of course. Wait. You're not suggesting... No! That's preposterous. Emmett is one of my most loyal employees. But he has a motive for wanting to take you down. I won't hear any more of it. No, I trust Emmett with my life. You're dismissed. Right. Yes, ma'am. Ryder, you will not repeat this theory of yours to anyone. Attention, everyone. This is the Code Yellow. If you could all report to Command and Control, please. What's the problem? Any activity? No. Scans have been dark since the explosion. Is everything okay? What's this about? Good. Everyone's here. Up until now, we've had very little in terms of offense with the corrupted androids. But that is about to change. I was inspired by Kira's holotech against the Series 4. You mean the, uh... uh Killer robot dogs? Yes, the killer robot dogs. Before that, I didn't think Holotech could be weaponized, but I've created one for each of you. Not only that, but I decrypted the android's virus and developed an antivirus. Hit a corrupted droid with this enough times and it should deactivate its control program. Now each of these will be installed into your gauntlets, so you'll always have it with you, but the Holotech runs on a different system than the suit meaning you won't have unlimited access. There is a cooldown time, so use it sparingly. Ryder, you will have the hollow sword. Swift double H blade that allows for nimble combat on the field. Juno, for you, a weapon as powerful as your legs, the hollow axe. Strong enough for a devastating blow toward any enemy. Kira, your already powerful dome shields provide both offense and defensive capabilities. However, now you will be able to use them at long range by shooting them from your hollow bow. A well-placed arrow will project a dome around anything it touches. Cal, for you, something swift. The hollow chakra. can be used for long-range attacks, returning after you throw them, or useful for a short-range strike. Finally, for Teo, the Hollow Whip. It will allow you to grapple enemies from a distance and pull them in to follow up with a devastating punch from your cybernetic hands. Thank you, Emmett. These are incredible. You've really outdone yourself this time. Now, I think it's time we all retire for the night. Who knows what we'll be up against in the morning. Hey guys. What'd I miss?
next time on Neon Lights. You used to be a member of the Thieves Guild, right? Once upon a time. What can you tell me about unlocking doors? Ah, coming for some advice, huh? Well, there's this door here, and I think there's something behind it. Something important. Heart rate is stable, breathing is normal, cybernetics have fully integrated, you are good to go. Thanks, Summit. I still want you to take it easy, though. I understand. If there's anything I can do to help, though, I don't like feeling useless. What's the word on Cypher? Nothing yet. No news is good news, right? Not with him. He's enjoyed toying with us so far. Why would he lay low now? Because I wanted to see how you'd be putting my virus to work. And it seems I got my answer. Before you start making threats, though, why don't you step outside first? Don't! It could be a trap! I'm counting on it. We have to go down and face him. We need to end this. Back to action!